Hello there heroes, I'm the Orange Ranger and it is another Lightning Collection toy review for you. And I know you can see the Samurai Gigazord over here in the corner, but that's because I have a slightly larger box than usual to show you. As you can see, this is the SPD Omega Ranger and this is a first for the Lightning Collection because it is not just the figure, it is the SPD Omega Ranger and his Uniforce Cycle, the unicycle motorcycle thing that he rode. Now, some of you right away are looking and going, wow, you know, you must have been excited to get this figure. It looks like the top of the box is already open there. And that is not the case at all. And you probably know what's going on now, but to explain, I actually hold off on opening any of these figures until I'm able to film the review because I like to have my initial reactions to taking them out of the box and laying my eyes on them in person for the very first time. So why is the box open? Because that's how it came to me. This has been an ongoing issue with Amazon where I got this. I think Omega may be an Amazon exclusive. Uh, but if not, it's the primary place that it's available. So I ordered this on Amazon and I had mentioned in my review of Time Force Red that I seemed to luck out a bit. That figure also came in an Amazon bubble mailer, but there were no uh, real serious box damage issues. And I guess that's because Sam here took all of the damage. The box is slightly torn right here. It's dented all up through the middle here. The top was open like this in the envelope. It's dented here. As we turn around to the back, this entire back part, if you can see here, is crushed in like that. Um, every single side, there's a dent down here. Uh, this corner is smashed up. To be honest, this is the first box that I've gotten ordering a figure from Amazon where I would not feel able to display this if I was interested in displaying the boxes. Fortunately for me, I don't, but I've seen a number of tweets and even one that compiled everybody that had issues uh, into this one big picture. Uh, this box, I guess because it's bigger, has uh, become the exemplar of Amazon's unfortunately callous attitude towards shipping uh, these figures. This bigger box, this beautiful art on it and everything, and they just toss it into a bubble mail envelope that provides no protection to a thin cardboard box and just send it on out. A lot of people speculated, you know, that in the warehouse, they're grabbing it like this, and that does support a lot of this indenting back here, that they're just grabbing it like this and shoving it in. And it's just unfortunate because, you know, you might think, oh, what do they know about Power Rangers? You know, what do they know about the Lightning Collection or anything? But they send out a lot of action figures that are clearly made uh, to be displayed and shown off. And I will say this box doesn't have any sort of window, so I don't think you'd be displaying it in the box. But the thing is, you could display the box because the art on it is beautiful, as I'll go over in a moment. But I wouldn't display this box because it's torn half to crud. So that's a very unfortunate thing. And I just hope word about this continues to increase and, you know, we can get some kind of response from Amazon. And they start, you know, even, even hiring a bunch of new people because of the viral pandemic and people ordering things online more that they can just start actually being careful with uh, what's clearly intended to be a collector's product. That little rant out of my system, we can take a look at the box itself. Again, the box is a little bit different because there's a vehicle on the inside and there is no window. So we have kind of the full art here entirely on one side of the Omega Ranger, beautiful art of course, and then a little picture of the actual product um, Sam, the Omega Ranger, up on the Uniforce Cycle right there. We turn it to the side here. There's some art of Sam there. Come around to the back, especially seeing as he's sitting on a vehicle, that's uh, 
shouldn't be too difficult of a pose to match. I do like, there's another little realistic picture here of the figure with a drawn cartoon hand behind it to show it'll roll if you push it there. And you see there's a stand for when you're just displaying it. And interestingly enough, we get again art on the other side here, but it's higher. Oh, because, because, and again, it's hard to see, especially with the dents, but there's a Power Rangers SPD logo right there. And the art on the other side doesn't have the SPD logo. What's sticking out to me right now is this gold logo on the helmet because I pointed that out with, um, I pointed that out with Shadow Ranger that his was supposed to be silver and it wasn't, it was the color of the helmet. And as we turn this back around to the back, you can see it's small, but on that it is gold. So I'm uh, hoping that'll be the case, but let's get this open and see what we have. It'll be a little bit easier because the flap's already open. Since there was no box window, I just wanted to show that this is how the figure comes. You see the figure over there on the left and then on the right, the cycle. Um, it looks like the handles and some of the parts are separate right here. I think this is a little white SPD morpher right there. Let's see what we got. So the hands are kind of interesting this time because one of them is the effect part. You can see it there. It's this gold one that I've got kind of pinched behind his wrist here. The other hand is just a big open hand. He's got two holding hands on the figure. I am going to tell you that I am going to put the effect part hand on. So that's one of the hands I'll be using. So I just wanted to show you all the hands. Between how tiny it is and reflecting on the light, this is gonna be nearly impossible to see. I realized as I was taking this out, this is not his morpher. This is a containment card that they would use to capture monsters. That's what that is. Two of those pieces were the handlebars that just snap into grooves on the side. So I normally show you the bottom of the box. In this case, I kind of forgot and I needed to go back and do so because instead of including instructions in the box, they put them on the bottom. It shows you where those little parts go. The other two parts go on the sides of the wheel. It's only gonna take one ranger to stop you and that'd be me, SPD Omega Ranger and Unifor Cycle. This looks really good. Um, I know there were some issues, I think, with the Omega Rangers helmet, and I'm not really seeing them. This may be a slightly later re-release or something. Um, I don't know. It, it looks perfectly fine to me. I will say, and I, I almost feel like I don't want to take it back off the cycle, seeing as these things can be kind of hard to balance, but I, I kind of, yeah, I'm going to take them off so we can get a, a good look at the figure itself. But I just wanted to show you, this is on the Unifor cycle. I'll probably show you that again at the end of the video, but let's take a look at Sam himself. So here is Mr. Ball of Light himself, Sam. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out, because I mentioned it earlier in this video, yes, the dog head police logo on his helmet is gold, although it looks very simplistic. It, it looks like a smaller drawn version without the detail since you're not really zooming in on it there. There's a little tiny SPD chest logo, which I think is really nice. The gold and blue striping to form the VI logo, I think, looks really good. Interestingly, the belt is not any kind of shimmery gold. It's that flat, almost mustard yellowish kind of a thing. Not terribly bad. One thing that really sticks out to me here, um, and not in a good way, unfortunately, is changing out the hand the the plastic on this effect part one felt kind of cheap and maybe that was combining the cost of a, an effect part and a hand but it felt kind of soft and i also noticed that when i was trying to put his hands on the motorcycle handlebars nothing too huge to complain about but uh just something i noticed overall this is a really pretty suit i've always liked the contrast of gold and blue and the white and it's just uh 
all combines for a very good look. Um, I like the electro mode, the lightning coming out of that hand there. And by the way, the tiniest little touches that impress me, uh, just like the first time I got a figure art, Kamen Rider Gaim, and I noticed that the uh, knife on the belt moved. The, um, I, f I forget what they call this thing, but the handle on his morpher that he cranks and turns, that moves. So that is really, really cool. I like that tiny little detail for him to be able to do that. Uh, this is a very nice figure. And now, what the heck? Let's take a look at the Unifor cycle separately. The Lightning Collection's first vehicle, and I think they did a really good job with it. I will say the handlebars come out really easily and to the point where it can be difficult to get his hand on them between this kind of softer plastic in the figure's hands and the fact that they just pop right back out anyway. But uh, overall, you know, I think this is really good. I, I like the, the silver there. Those are the kickstands. Those are the other two parts is where he can stand when you pose him there. The stand looks good. Red and blue and gold and white. Just all the right colors and everything. Just to show, to get it actually rolling, this little stand uh, goes forward. And then, yes, it rolls. There's not any kind of like ratcheting zoom zoom type action on it. It's just a wheel. There's also a wheel back here that rolls. I'm not sure why it would roll like that. But there you go there. As Sam zaps it something down on the ground there, that's going to wrap this up. I kind of already did the pose on the back of the box. I'm going to give it a B because... It can be a little wiggly and a little hard to get balanced, but overall uh, it is pretty good for what it's supposed to be, and this figure is pretty good for what it's supposed to be. I will say, so price point is a question here, because this is not your $20 to $25 Lightning Collection figure. This is, I believe, a $40 Lightning Collection set with the vehicle I don't know how much I would say it's worth it. It's neat. It's cool. For this to be the first vehicle in the Lightning Collection is an interesting choice. I guess it's unique. But, I mean, I jumped on this because I saw it available and I wanted to do a video on it and I've been getting more of the Lightning Collection figures. So I figured I would nab it. But just, you know... I wouldn't say I regret making this purchase, but it's still, even with the Unifor Cycle, not one of my absolute favorites. But it's good. It looks good. The gold is really shimmery and a great gold, and it contrasts nicely with the blue. Like I said, the figure looks great. And the Unifor Cycle is a unique accessory. So that's what we've got on that. I'd give this like a B plus, like a, like a 3.5 out of 5, you know, when it's a tentative recommendation depending on how much you love SPD, how much you love the Lightning Collection and want a unique piece of its history. That is going to do it for another Power Rangers toy review. Thank you heroes so much as always for watching. Now that the video is done, you can let me know what you think of this figure as well as my review of it down in the comments below. Are you going to pick this up or is that price point just making you shy off a little bit. Let me know that down in the comments below. While you're down there, please make sure you smack that thumbs up button to let me know that you enjoyed this video. I may have already said this, but please make sure you subscribe to my channel to see all of my videos and get your notifications set up so you'll be notified of whenever I post brand new videos, uh, especially since my toy reviews aren't scheduled. So ring that bell, get the notifications set up and make sure you're subscribed so that you can see these videos whenever they come out. And if you'd like to lend any financial support to my channel, because Lightning Collection figures still aren't terribly cheap, I'm, I'm not asking you to buy my toys for me. I'm just saying if you like this channel, if you like what I do and you want to toss me a little bit of financial support to help me keep doing it, you can check me out on Patreon or Coffee at Orange Ranger Videos. Until next time, heroes, may the power protect you.